Hey guys, it's me again. My name is Carisia. I didn't do an announced live today. This is like unannounced and like no one knows about it. But I just felt like doing this live so I could post this live onto YouTube and finally show you guys some of this new stuff that I got. I got some exciting things. I went on a couple thrift thrift hauls recently. One of them I already put up. I really wanted to show you guys that one, but I already put this stuff away so I'm just gonna show you the things that we have right here which is also interesting I got a new brand I can't wait to show you oh my god ah. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you that and depending how long it is I might show you the haul that I did today I just came back from I just came back from a photo shoot which is why I'm like all dressed up Anyway, I just got a text message yes, which just made me like, ugh. But anyway, yeah. I just went, came from a photo shoot. So that's why I'm like all dressed up. Um, But before I went to the shoot earlier today, I decided I wanted to go thrifting since I was already going to be in the city. So that's what I did. So if the other few items I show isn't doesn't make this too long then i'll show you what i got today as well but that's kind of a few items so maybe i'll do that another day but we'll see we'll see let's just get into this video my name is creasy by the way if i didn't say that give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel if you're watching on youtube right now you probably are <laughs> and um yeah let's do this so where did i go the first piece that I went to the thrift. It was a Goodwill by my job, I believe. I got some really good pieces right here. That's where I got pieces. I decided to up my sales, my upsell percentage or like amount, whatever. So instead of like times two or three of what I usually go for, I decided I want to go for more. Because honestly, if you apply the same technique to higher price items, which is just to like have a list have like a mindset of what you want to get and then you just like end up getting at least a couple of things on your list usually just like have a precise list of exactly what you want in that store where you want to find and shop for only those items and you'll definitely at least stumble upon one of them so I decided instead of doing that for items that's double or triple the price that I'm paying why don't I go for more <laughs> So that's what I did and that's what I'm doing and you know this was my first trip haul actually trying it out and it worked for me and I'm very happy about that and honestly this works for life in general but that's another story that I'm like trying to spread the word about but anyway you guys you're like shut the fuck up and just show us the items I know okay I got you so two of these items I'm really excited to show you so I'm going to show them to you last <laughs> But it's not a big, it's not a lot of stuff here. So, these two, these items are all from um, Goodwill in Harlem. I got it by my job on Saturday. My patient called out, so I went to work for no reason, which I was really happy about. And I ended up having a lot of extra time to thrift in their neighborhood. So, that was really good. Um, so, yeah. The first thing I'm going to start with is this top that's on the top of my pile. It's only two. It's only five items from there. I'm not going to leave the other two items that I really want to show you until the last, last part of this haul. Because I might show you the other things too. I'm going to show you them with the rest of the things I got from this thrift store. First thing I got is this at Let the Top. It is in the size extra, extra small. I actually sold my, I think it was the first at Let the Top I ever got. Maybe the second. Mm, what the first or the second I left the top that I that I had gotten in the beginning the first ones one of them sold this week so I'm really excited about that I sold it for about $14 I think so that was really good so I picked up this one this time and their leggings all their um not their leggings their yoga pants also sell really well as well if you you know looking for that brand this is um, I'm gonna sell this probably for a couple of dollars. I don't even get this for. I think this was 
I'm not even sure, but um, Goodwill had a sale on pink tag items. They were all like 50% off, so some of the stuff that I got were 50% off, but I'm not even sure what was 50 and what wasn't. But, um, what, do they still have tags on it? Yeah, this one doesn't have tags, so I don't know. But this is this Atletha Athletic Top. I feel like I could sell this for a good $14, $15, plus it's rooched, so I might end up getting to sell it for 16 possibly. So that's really good. So that's what it looks like. I love the. Here you go. Full overview. Um, yeah, let's just do the next item because I already talked so much. Um, the next thing is this really pretty dress. I like this one a lot. I feel like I might try to style this one in the summertime. Is it my size? Mm, it's a size six. So no, it's not my size. I am a size two, four. Pretty small. But, um, yeah, I would have really liked to wear this. Maybe I should gain some weight or something just to fit in this dress, but it's really cute. It is a brand that I've never seen before, but I thought it was just really nice, so I just searched it up. It has makeup on it, actually. It has, like, a little stain right here on it, if you can see that. Where is it? There. And this is the brand. I've never seen this brand before, but apparently the items on ebay sell for about 30 to about 60 dollars i think i saw but this one i think i'm gonna price it for about 40 so yeah uh i can't remember i did see this exact same dress listed so i'm just gonna price mine lower than what they have theirs <laughs> so yeah it'll just sell i'm trying to just sell as many things and get as much um returns returns out of those sales um just so i could buy more items because i really just want to get my inventory up and just like have that cycle going so yeah that's what i'm really just focusing on right now i'm not really focusing on like getting well i do want to get more but i want to get more so i can get more items you know so i'm um, but i also want to get more items as quick as possible so i'm selling them at a lower cost so i can get the item i'm gonna buy higher price items so i can get higher income but sell them lower for what they're listed so they can also just go out really quickly get it supply and demand i guess i don't know something like that <laughs> but it's working and these are just some of the techniques that i personally use and they're working really really well for me i finally hit my seller goal of 100 but you know what? i'll tell you guys about that at the end of the video because i did have a few goals this week and they were part of my monthly goal so i'm really proud of them and i'm gonna tell you guys later but let's get through this haul and if you want to listen to that then you can next thing i got was really exciting i was just like oh am I, I was like am i seeing correctly <laughs> i'm like am i seeing right um, it was this top. I was like, is it the same brand? Does it count? But the next thing I saw was this. You're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> but the next thing I got is this. What does it say? Versace? Versace? Wait. Is it a... Is it... Versace? I was like, am I seeing and I was thank God and I searched it up and this is looks very authentic and look at the best part what is a tag for Versace I don't know what rich person bought this top but thank you thank you so much <laughs> no but honestly it's just this like this like button down and I like really like the color and the texture of it i don't know what it's made of i didn't even like look i just saw versace and i searched it up and it looks very authentic and i think i can sell this for um i think i saw it from about 34 upwards i saw some that went for really expensive but those are more like the very versace-esque with the gold and like just the extravagant patterns you know but this one i think i'll be able to sell it for like 30 40 maybe even 60 because i still see a lot of them priced at 60 so i'm really hoping that i can like sell it for 60 i feel like 60 right now is the price point i really want to go for with that like tripling and shit but um yeah oh it's just 100 percent cotton 
Uh, I don't remember what I saw this for on my on eBay, but I do know I could, I'm gonna sell this for at least thirty to sixty dollars. So that's really good profit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm very happy for that, and it has a tag on it. So yeah, probably wouldn't be thirty. It'll probably be like sixty, maybe hopefully. And then the last two things that I know I'm gonna sell for sixty exciting i finally found this brand i was actually really 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 looking for this brand because i was like i want to find that brand i want to find that brand and i did oh my god let me tell you so first off i was looking through the dresses i think i yeah i was looking through the dresses i believe and after i picked up this one i just went further down on the rack and i found this this mm la fleur top yeah these go for about 60 bucks so i'm really excited to have found this this is so this is really nice too i really like this top actually i was like hmm how could i style this but i don't know if i actually am and it has two side slits i just noticed on the hem that's really cute i really like this one someone's mom is gonna be like so happy with this or like maybe not even someone's mom because this is just like really really cute i really like this top um like literally if i wasn't selling this and if my mom was like wasn't the type to be like i don't want anyone to use clothing or whatever i would like totally give this to my mom but yeah this is just made from this is made from viscose and elastane oh is it stretchy oh it is a little bit stretchy wow i didn't know that i didn't even know this but the second one i got a second one two Two? so i did manage to find another one it was on a rack that was like all by itself i was like that rack looks so like it looked like it had it would have all the dingy stuff on it like no one's looked at it in ages but um i was just like you know what i went through like pretty much all these racks already let me just look at it and at the very end of the rack that i was going through i was like mm, yeah this looks like nothing special then like literally i'm just like going through it like might as well go finish since i started and like one of the last few pieces on the rack was another mm lafleur top and both of them are in such good condition this one's an extra small and this one is uh uh what size also an extra small maybe they were from the same owner but they are both in such good condition this one looks almost new well, that one looks like it could be new too. These are in such good condition. And I could sell these for at least $60. So I'm very excited for these two to go. <laughs> so basically, just one of these tops paid for the entire haul. Basically, every single item in this could have paid for the entire haul by itself. Except for the Atleta top. So amazing. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> so that's really exciting i feel like i talk a lot in this haul okay so i'm gonna show you these two last items and then i'm gonna do the haul that i did today another day but i did go to another thrift store i went to this one yesterday yeah yesterday i did yoga for the first time and that was really interesting me and my friend were giggling it up in class and the yoga teacher yelled at us but um it was fun it was a good experience and before I went, I decided to go thrifting because, again, I was in the city. I was like, oh, let me use the time and the metric card fare already. So, like, might as well, you know. So, I'm not spending extra travel time along with the clothing expenses, you know, out of my eBay budget, basically. So, you know, yeah, get the extra, what is it, hit two birds with one stone, basically what I was doing. So, yeah, no extra travel money. So I went um, thrifting and I got two good pieces. I've actually been finding, well, obviously I've been finding a lot of good pieces. But the two items that I got were both Elaine Fisher. Um, a preview for the next haul. Two of the items that I got today were also Elaine Fisher. So I'm like, woo, I love finding Elaine, Eileen. Sorry, I always say Elaine. I love finding Eileen Fisher because when you find a lot and it always goes for like double what you paid for no triple because usually i sell them for like 30 and i'll put them down like to 25 at least and then sell it upwards i'm so happy with this haul guys i'm just so happy 
with this haul. I was just kind of down before I started like doing this haul. Then I remembered all the good pieces I got while doing it. I'm just like so happy. <laughs> uh, my makeup and my face right now looks really gross though. But besides that, I'm very, very happy. So the first Elaine Fisher is just these, this just knit top. This one is a size medium. Um, this one's nothing special, honestly. I don't think it's gonna go for that 30 mark, but I might be able to get it for at least 20 or something. And since it is Eileen Fisher and I have so much Eileen Fisher, I just felt the need to pick it up every time I see the brand. I can't just like leave it there. Like, and plus I saw on that blog when I first, 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 first started doing this, which wasn't that long ago, to be honest. <laughs> And I saw in that vlog, like that blog, that it's one of the best brands to get. So every single time that I see it, I just have to pick it up, whether it's gonna be an amazing profit or it's just gonna be a moderate profit, because it's never really a low profit. That's so I guess I should pick it up. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is it. This one's medium. This one looks like it's just regular cotton. Or maybe it's linen because they do make their clothes with linen let me see nope cotton 100 percent cotton top so yeah i might be able to get this up for about 20 hopefully maybe more if i'm lucky um and lastly i got another eileen fisher this one though this is what it looks like this is actually really kind of cute i wish it was a little bit more short so it could be a crop top but this one feels really nice and I was like, hmm, I'm starting to get familiar with like what certain fabrics feel like. So I was like, this feels silky and I looked at the tag and it was a silk one. This is one is 100% silk. I wish you guys could feel it so you could feel the difference. But this one is 100% silk and I'm starting to recognize the feels of the fabrics now, which is good because then, you know, when you get more in depth with the stuff, you take less time to like get through it because you already know what you're doing. So that's amazing. So I'm glad to be evolving. Um, what's that P word? Productive? Maybe. Probably not. But um, I'm not gonna like dwell on it. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm really happy to have gotten this one as well. 100% silk. Definitely gonna be able to sell this for at least thirty dollars. I'm not sure. I probably will downprice them a little bit, but not like majorly. This one does have a smell. It smells like a. Yeah, it smells like an older white woman, to be honest. So I'm not lying to you. Yeah. But uh, it's cute. And thank you to whoever that older white woman was. It doesn't smell t bad, but it has a scent. So yeah. I did pick up an item with like a scent before and I could not get the scent out for the life of me. I think I, I sorry guys, I literally, I, earlier I was literally saying how hard that word is to say to me, think, think, think. But yeah, I think I told you guys about that already, but like I got this top and it just smelled so bad and like I washed it like so many times and the smell just would not come out. My mom was like, in the older days, um, the perfumes that they had were just like just like that so it smelled like an old woman like so she was like um in the older days that was just like the type of perfumes that they had so that's probably the type of perfume that person had and yeah that makes a lot of sense because that shit would not come the fuck out like honestly i tried so many methods and all it did was contaminate other clothes and make it smell like that so yeah that was pretty dissatisfying literally had to throw it out at the end of the day but whatever we move on that was the first loss of all the clothing and i resold my first return today actually so i wanted to add that in there since we're i did tell you i was gonna talk about the goals that i hit this um month well, this week for this month, I really wanted to get my February goals in because the month is almost over. It is, what, the 26th today? Yesterday was my brother's birthday. I got to tell him happy birthday. Um, but yeah, I, f but yeah uh, I really wanted to hit my goals. So I put in the crunch time. I am literally two items away from 
100 listings and the only reason I'm not at 100 listings right now is because I've sold items throughout the weeks throughout the week um but definitely with the items that I got here and the items that I got today I'm definitely going to be well over 100 by the time I finish listing all of them thank god by the end of the week I should be at uh, maybe about 115 which is amazing I'm so happy I cannot wait to like get to like 500 which is the next goal the next goal on my like time on my like listing sheet it's like 100 500 I don't know what the rest are but it just goes like that and then 100 items which leads us into our next my next goal I mean my next accomplishment Ooh. <laughs> so yeah that the item um 100 items is supposed to equal to 300 dollars profit in the month i'm over my profit i'm over that 300 dollar mark profit and i had i just gotten to 100 listings this week so i'm so proud of myself i'm so happy that i calculated correctly like i knew that the calculations in the timesheet is like you basically sell one item per three items and each item is ten dollars profit and of course you know my profit is usually like twenty dollars profit or thirty dollars profit so i expected it to be higher be when i got to a hundred but um i don't know just seeing the three hundred result even though i didn't have the 100 listings was just like really good for me it was like a big compliment com a, <laughs> a big accomplishment i had a long day guys i'm sorry i'm tired and uh i just i don't know but yeah it was just a big accomplishment to be over my goal and i haven't even hit a hundred yet the income goal and i haven't even hit a hundred yet so that's really exciting i'm excited to see what this next month has in store for me now that I am over 100 and I'm gonna be cycling through 100 and up, of course, because I plan on continuing adding. Hopefully for the month of, what's after February, April? March? <laughs> March, February, March, March? <laughs> Hopefully for the month of March, I reach 200. It's not March yet and I'm definitely gonna be at 115 before March starts. I'm gonna make that a goal before March starts to list every single one of these new items that I got. I don't think I'm gonna go thrifting again for a minute because honestly, it's freezing outside and I'm tired, I need a little break, okay? I've been running around and I've been going hard with these listings. I've been going hard, bro, because I really wanted to like get this goal like out of the way. I didn't want to fail myself for the month of February. Like if I could do it February, I could do it in March. So I didn't want to fail myself because I want to keep that mindset. Mm. What was the other goal? Oh, and return investments. Right. So halfway through the month, I did notice that they, like, on eBay, it tells you how much all of the items that you're selling for the price you're selling them for added up is worth. And I, mine was at, like, 1000 So I was like, you know, in my name, there's a $1,000 sitting there to be sold, to be had at whatever point throughout, you know, time so my goal was to get that up it wasn't exactly to hit 2000 but since i would i just got so close to hitting 2000 it just became to hit 2000 goal 2000 in that inventory before the end of the month and i did so that's the other um accomplishment i hit 2000 i'm over 2000 in that to be and when i'm done listing all of this i'm pretty sure i'm probably gonna be at probably 2500 hopefully so before even march begins i'm gonna be at 2500 which is really exciting when my goal was didn't really have one i guess it was kind of like a thousand five hundred because i think i started this month with like a thousand 170 ish i think so i think my goal was just to be like get to 1500 because when i did realize it it would the month had already started and then like when i saw it, i was like make a goal for it and then i did and i accomplished the goal and i'm happy to have accomplished all these goals i just started selling so to be making what i'm making right now before the time that i even planned that i would have gotten 
to the point is just really it just makes me happy and it makes me feel like my worth is my work is like worth it and um yeah i'm glad i just like started this now and i always want to like have my own business i always wanted to have my own business every venture in my life always was to lead me to having my own business so i can then have a business and then expand on businesses so the fact that i took the step and i'm here right now and i'm accomplishing these goals before the time i even set for them and i pray to continue and, and i will because i am because who else is gonna like make me continue with myself <laughs> so thank god for that yeah let's keep doing it <laughs> And that's it. I'm exhausted. I'm going to take off my makeup. I'm going to dress, take a shower, and go to sleep because I'm really tired. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow and list and, well, photograph all of these items and try to list as many of them as I possibly can. Go to the post office because I do have some items to t bring to the post office that I was going to bring today. But I just ran out of time and I just should have went. But honestly, whatever. It's fine. I always do same day shipping and if not same day shipping one day shipping so yeah so and I mean one day is not gonna kill me as long as I don't make a habit and I won't so anyway <laughs> thanks for listening to me ramble on and on I hope you enjoyed this haul I hope you got something from it and if you did and you enjoyed spending time with me learn something new you know then again be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video my next thrift haul my youtube channel is going to become full of thrift hauls and i know i'm filming this on instagram i'm filming this on instagram but youtubers won't know i'm filming this on instagram and i'm going to continue to do these lives for anyone that's watching on instagram later i'm going to continue to do these lives until people more and more people start joining in even when i don't um announce it but if you're watching on instagram thanks for watching as well and if you want to you know go over this video then it will be linked in my main instagram profile for you to watch anytime you please and any past hauls that i have uploaded so thank you so much for watching i don't want this to be 30 minutes long if it isn't already so yeah good night guys Thanks again for listening to me and yeah, because I felt like I was just talking a bunch of nonsense for most of this video, rambling, I, I thought the words were coming out of my mouth, they weren't even going through my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching, bye!